What's going on Turner Fish and welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven Turner and on today's video we're going to be figuring out why I have switched to a bait caster instead of a spinning rod on my long poles. Y'all stay tuned. There for the longest time I've used, you know, this cardinal reel on my long poles or the little B&M strip reel. I used it for a long time and I highly praise that reel. It's really really good but what i have figured out with my long poles now this doesn't count for my actual casting rods i still use uh, a little 25 dollars shakespeare rod not rod 25 dollars shakespeare reel from walmart i mean they're really cheap ultra like reels got a good drag on them i enjoy them I'm dropping stuff now the whole reason that I have been using this bait caster. You know, this is my 13 foot ACC. I got the tip off of it because I am in the woods and it's kind of aggravating going through the woods trying to make a video with a 13 foot pole. <clears throat> but what this bait caster allows me to do, you know, we're gonna eliminate the whole pole. You know, I'm an avid bass fisherman. I love bass fishing, but you know, I've tried this before with braid. Uh, I tried it with a 10 pound fluorocarbon and I did not enjoy it. But what I figured out is I bought the little $20 Ozark reel at Walmart and it was just the reel that was holding me back and not the actual technique of it. So with this bait caster, what it allows you to do, you know, we're talking about Forward facing sonar guys, we're, we're about to break it down. This is why this one's better. So if you're a Randy Ballnick fan, you can get on out of here because we ain't got no time for his little colt. When you're using forward facing sonar, you're out there open water fishing or you're fishing brush piles. The best thing you can do is having your line at a certain depth and holding it there. And with this bait caster, I'm, a, I'm allowed to adjust the drag and this tension rod allows me to control the rate of fall that my jig goes. So if I have a 1 16th ounce jig head on this and a number three split shot, I'm able to click the bell and tighten this tension down or loosen the tension until that jig barely comes off. So when I'm out there sniping fish in open water, I can just click the bell and slowly let my line down. Or I can loosen it up and it's easily just a click and my line starts going down and then I click it back right on top of that fish and catch him. It gets down there really quick or it gets down there really slow when they're really finicky and they want to run away. Now, you know, it may look dumb when I set the hook and I'm winding backwards. But honestly, it's really not that bad for the advantages of it. Because if you take this spinning rod, say I see a fish. Now, with this one with a 10-foot rod, I could cast to that fish. That is an advantage of this one over that one. But I don't fish that way with them when I'm open water fishing. I fish, you know, I slowly go up to the fish, I catch him. Now, if I was doing that with this, if I open this bell, I'm gonna have to control the line as it's coming out or it's gonna come out too fast or too slow. The bait caster gives me an opportunity to control the rate of speed that my bait's going down. It gives me an opportunity to control my drag a lot better than this. And I can open spool of fish if he's that big and I need to. The bait caster gives me more control over everything that's why i switched so you know this is just a personal preference i have no nothing against a spinning rod uh, or a spinning reel i have nothing against a strip reel which i don't even know what you call those reels but you tighten up the drag whatever you can keep your line y'all know from past videos but the bait caster like i like i've said like four times now it opens up more possibilities to be able to fish more efficiently than a spinning reel does. So that's why I have it on my long poles. But on a normal, you know, five, six, six foot rod, 
spinning spinning reel all day you can't put a bait caster on that <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me catch you on the next one